Let's now bring in the bear, Chris Felica. Bear, good to have you with us. And I know you like the horse racing going on behind me, I would imagine. Uh, it is a best bet show, Bear. What is your best bet for draft props? Yeah, I, I think the, the the prop that Caesars has out there with uh, Will, uh, Trentrick Wills, go ahead and Mackay Becton. It's a big number at minus 360. Uh, so you got to lay a lot of juice there. But but I think uh, with what's come out with Beck, uh, on Becton over the last couple of weeks or so, uh, I, I think whether it's Wills and worse, I even – uh, will go ahead of Becton. So I would, I, I think Wills ahead of Becton uh, would be one of my best bets. And I, and I think another one to look at, if you're not really interested in laying 360 on a best bet, uh, would be that prop on the big number of Big Ten players uh, to go in the first round at five and a half. I haven't seen a mock out there. Uh, maybe there is one. I'm sure there is one. But I haven't seen it where there is a prop with the Big Ten with fewer than six. You've got Akuda, you've got Young, you've got Worfs, uh, you got Cesar Ruiz from Michigan, uh, you, you've got Zach Bond, and you probably have uh, Gross Matos from Penn State. That doesn't even include maybe Jonathan Taylor, uh, maybe Antoine Winfield, maybe Damon Arnett. I mean, there are a bunch of guys out there. So I think the Big Ten has at least six uh, players selected in the first round. Yeah, that's a strong play. Winfield, even Dobbins, who knows? I mean, mm -hmm. he's better maybe suited for the NFL game and things like that. But uh, good stuff all around. Uh, Bear, always great chatting college football and NFL draft. And uh, let's see how it all plays out, man. So we have the Bear, now we have the Cheetah. Yeah, and you're, uh, let's talk about your best bet, something we also discussed on Tuesday's show. It was six. Now it's down to five and a half wide receivers in the first round. It's a huge crop of receivers. Under is plus money here, but this line opened six and a half, though. I still like under at five and a half plus 150. It is my best bet because it's not really just looking at reports and information and trying to hurry and get the best number you can. But ultimately, it's that I'm trying to take the accumulative, I guess, draft evaluation of some of these NFL teams and trust them. I know that's tough to say to trust NFL teams to make the right decision, but their draft process needs to be sound. Now, you look at the receivers, you have that top three of Lamb, Judy, and Ruggs, who are going to be first rounders. Even Jefferson in that next tier will likely be a first rounder. But Denzel Mims at a Baylor, the fifth receiver expected to be taken, he's still only minus 150 to minus 175 to be a first rounder. That's about 60 to 64 percent implied by the market. And then that's still only five. We need to have a six receiver. And I just think these teams are going to look that six through 10, whether it be Rager or Ayuk or Higgins, Pittman, Chanel out of Colorado, they all are projected to be, you know, there's not a huge gap between six through 10. They're projected to be similarly good. And I think they all will be good in the NFL but if you're sitting there end of the first round and you need an offensive lineman or an edge rusher or a cornerback why not take the best of those spots in the first round knowing you can get seven eighth or ninth or tenth best receiver in the second round so I'm going with that combined with the fact that Mims isn't even a lock to be a first rounder and we're getting plus one let's now bring in Seth Walder our analytics guru the first time we are seeing him here on these draft specials the digital version of daily wager Seth good to hear from you what is your best bet of all these props yeah, so we really like, there's a bet. How many SEC players go in the first round? It's SEC minus one half. We like the field plus one half. So you, the field's got to get to 16 or have uh, fewer than 17 SEC players. It's a minus 240 bet. Here, here's, how we, here's how we think about this, right? Uh, this is one where I think our model really shines. You've got, probably, I'm going to list off 14 players. Let's just call them locks, okay? In, in no particular order. Tua, Burrow, Brown, Works, Wills, Thomas, Judy, Ruggs, Henderson, Chason, Jefferson, Queen, Kinlaw, McKinney. Okay, for the moment, let's just call them 100% they're in. That leaves some bubble players, uh, Trayvon Diggs, Christian Fulton, Grant Delpit, DeAndre Swift. We put those players at, uh, you know, some chance to go in the first round. It's definitely possible. Swift is almost a coin toss. But to determine how many of them will go in the first round to how many, the chance that they'll get to 17, is a complicated question uh, because like if Christian Fulton goes in the first round, that changes the odds for Trayvon Diggs because Christian Fulton has now taken a spot uh, that Diggs could have. Plus he's a corner. So you need to build, what we did is we built a simulator to simulate this out. And it came back and said, it is highly unlikely the SEC can get to 17 players. So we're fine laying the juice. We like the field. All right, as for my best bet, a little bit off the grid. I got to be honest there, but hey, all tickets cash the same. Something we like to say, right? It is the Atlanta Falcons' first draft pick. You have three options. C.J. Henderson out of Florida, Chase on out of LSU, and then the field. I like the field. Give, I, I give everybody but two players. Look, Henderson could go higher where the, where the Falcons currently are slotted at 16. Yeah, they may trade. Chase on, I, just, I think there's a lot of open-endedness. We talked about chaos earlier in the show. In terms of it's so hard to kind of handicap what teams will actually do, given the 
misinformation out there. So I'll, I'll lay the 250. If I lose, I lose. Joe, your best bet sort of connected here, right? Yeah, Florida cornerback C.J. Henderson will go in the top 12. I'm surprised it's at plus money, plus 135 at the time of this taping. Jeffrey Okuda is the best corner in the draft. Henderson's two. He ran a sub 4-3 at the Combine in Indianapolis. But there's a big drop off from him to the third best cornerback, which is going to play in very well, very nicely for him on draft day. Uh, Detroit is in need of a cornerback. They lost Darius Slay. Atlanta is rumored to be trading up for a cornerback. The Giants allowed 9.4 yards per attempt last season. They could use help at corner. Carolina needs a corner. Jacksonville lost Jalen Ramsey and A.J. Boye last offseason. And you also can find the Raiders at pick number 12. They were horrible defending the deep ball last year. A lot of teams in need of a corner. This is the second best one on the board. I like C.J. Henderson in the top 12, Doug, especially at plus 135. Now, Anita, you've been very big about for about a month or so on Tua sliding. It looks like that is happening. And this is your best bet, a virtual coin flip here with Herbert drafted in the top five. Yeah, we're hearing a lot of love for Herbert, uh, especially down the stretch. I anticipate him going uh, number three, whether uh, it's it's the Miami Dolphins or the Chargers trading with the Detroit Lions to get up there at three and get Herbert, uh, or worst case scenario, uh, he's there at five for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, Herbert, for a number of teams, I'm hearing that he's the number one player on their board, possibly better than Burrow at a scout dummy. Uh, Herbert's the kind of quarterback that uh, will win football games for you, and who doesn't want a field general? Uh, with with that description so I love Herbert I think he's definitely going to go in the top five Doug Justin Herbert top five yes minus a buck 10 Preston's grabbing the plus 150 on under five and a half wide receivers in the first round I like that one as well Bear likes Wills the tackle out of Alabama ahead of Becton the uh, guy who can really block out the sun six seven right out of Louisville but minus 360 for Wills there and Seth Walder uh, he likes the field plus a half versus the sec so a lot of fun stuff guys to talk about it we've uh you know we've dotted all our eyes checked across off all of our t's so hopefully we have everything in place to enjoy the draft with a little action so anita joe thank you and uh thanks to everyone for tuning in and just a quick reminder channel your inner mel and todd here with our espn draft challenge presented by caesar's rewards we ask the questions you make your picks espn.com slash draft challenge you can compete with your friends and us here on Daily Wager and win big. Of course, the NFL Draft starts Thursday night live on ABC and ESPN as well as NFL Network. So make those picks and enjoy the draft and compete against us. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.